Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is 10 more things you didn't know iPhone can do. iPhone can give you location-based reminders. Remind me when I leave the house to pick up some milk. Here's a reminder for when you leave home. Shall I create it? Okay, I'll remind you. The next time I leave my house, it will know that and it will immediately pop up the reminder and let me know that I need to pick up some milk. You can do this leaving or going to a location. The iPhone has a built-in pedometer to count your steps. Just find your health app, go into health, and go to your dashboard and you'll see your steps. You can see my steps for the day, walking and running distance, and the flights I even climbed today. When your phone is plugged in, you can actually wake it up by saying, Hey Siri, how are you tonight? I am well. You can use Siri hands-free while driving or just having your phone across the room as long as it's plugged in. iPhone has a built-in medical ID. You can go into the same health app we used before for the pedometer and put in your information as far as allergies and medications and even a contact as well. And if you go to edit, you can tell it to show it when it's locked so that someone, if they find you on the side of the road or in a car accident, should something horrible like that happen, you'll actually have some medical information on you that people can use to help you out. You can double tap the space bar to start a new sentence. If you don't like what you just did, you can shake to undo typing. If you like to listen to music at night, but you want it to shut off at a certain time, you can set a timer for that by going to your clock app. Go into your clock app, go to timer, tap on radar, scroll down, and tap on stop playing. When the timer ends, it will stop playing your music and go to sleep. Your phone has a built-in level. If you go to your compass app and simply swipe to the right, what you'll find is a level. You can use this to set pictures level or whatever you have another need for with a level. You can have a longer passcode than just four digits. You can do this by going into settings, going down to touch ID and passcode, enter your passcode, scroll down, and turn off simple passcode. Enter your ID again, and now you'll be presented with the keyboard where you can enter as long as a passcode as you would like. The final thing you may not have known you can do with your iPhone is tell the phone to send its location to you right before the battery dies. You can do this by going to settings, scrolling down to iCloud, once you're in iCloud, scroll to the bottom, go to Find My iPhone. As long as this is turned on, you want to turn on Send to Last Location. It will automatically send the location of this phone to Apple when the battery is critically low. That means you can now go to iCloud.com, log in, and actually find your iPhone, or at least its last location. If you have any other questions or comments or tips, or maybe there's some others that I missed, please let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.